Hello, I'm Jen of Jen Crafts, and I either have the greatest idea or the worst idea. But um, I have a lot of Sweet and Snuggles yarn. You can't see, obviously, from the back here, from the background. But um, I have a lot of I have I have a lot of red yarn, and I have this is what I, all I have left of white. So this is either going to be a great idea or a bad idea. I want to make a pillow of the YouTube logo. <laughs> So you see, it's literally just a red rectangle and a little triangle. So this is what I got. I have another um, skein of Sweet and Snuggles. Oh, by the way, yeah, um, that's what I'm using. Sweet and Snuggles. The handy dandy Sweet and Snuggles that uh, a lot of people are obsessed with. <laughs> so um, obviously you can get this at Michael's. Non-sponsored, by the way. And I got like three of these because when I saw the red, I was like, ooh, pretty color. And I didn't know what to do with it at the time. But now I finally have a great idea. And I'm going to make it in Sweet and Snuggles yarn. And then I'm going to make it in uh, Worsted Weight. Worsted Weight. And I also have eh, velvet. The, the, the really thin velvet yarn. So we're going to see how it turns out. I'm going to write down a little pattern. And then uh, we'll see how this goes. Wish me luck. This is what I have so far. I think single crochet was definitely the move, without a doubt. Um, and then I don't know how long I'm gonna make it yet, but it's gonna be a big, it's gonna be a big pillow. It looks like so. Uh, I'm gonna get back to you once I get a couple rows done, and we'll see how it looks from there. Okay, so I did three rows so far. It is like, I forgot how soft uh, um, Sweet and Snuggles yarn is. <laughs> I completely forgot how soft it is, but it is coming out so cool. Um, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep going. Let's do this.
Okay, hi, I moved um, my area, so um, I'm on row 11. This is gonna be a big photo. I hope I have enough. I think I do, but I think I think this is gonna this one side is gonna take up a whole skein. And then the other side is gonna take a whole skein. So that's probably what's gonna end up happening. Um unsure if I'm gonna make a written pattern yet. Um I'm writing down my steps right now, but I'm not good at writing patterns. I've never written a written pattern before. So that's why I just prefer a YouTube tutorial, but this isn't really a tutorial. This is kind of just like a vlog of me making it, but if anybody wants a uh, like a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make this, I will do it. But we'll, we'll just finish it and see what happens. Okay, so we're back in this room because my dad's busy doing something downstairs and it echoes. So um, I decided to go a different direction. So instead of the intent of going this way, I just decided to keep it this way. Um, I did about how many? 13 rows instead of, I think I had like 19 and then I frogged a bunch of rows. So so now the triangle, like the uh, the white triangle is gonna go like here in the middle. And then I'm over, I already started my second panel. So I'm about halfway done now. And then once I'm done, once I'm done, I'll be able to sew it together. Well, I have to make the triangle first. And then I'll sew it on one of these. And then we sew it together to, to get the plush and all that. So I have enough red. Um, I, I had, the reason why I went this direction instead, because I really was afraid of, of uh, running out of yarn. I want to use as much as yarn as possible to, um, you know, use much as my stash, my stash, but I need enough yarn to make this project first, so we'll see what happens. Was the dog coughing no big deal i finished both panels i finished both panels i finished my my triangle 
my white triangle. And now it's time for the sewing. I'm a little nervous. So we're gonna sew. Oh, I don't have my sewing needle. Where'd it go? I gotta get my sewing needle. Hold up. somewhere oh here it is okay got it it's a little bit it's a little small but I think it'll work for the plush yarn so we'll see how this works okay
there's just so much little changes everywhere. That's the only part about using sweet samples is that it just goes everywhere. And you're going to be prepared to vacuum. start getting um okay so i have to start getting my fluff now so brb
my god, I finished! Finally! It doesn't look that bad. I mean... It's the YouTube logo. It, it could have been better. Um, it could have been better, but you know what? For something on the whim, no pattern, I can't complain! I can't complain. I, I really just can't complain. This is actually, this came out really good. Like, this isn't that bad. It could have been better, but it, it's not perfect. But you know what? I'm happy with it. Wow. For those of you that sit by and watch me crochet this entire thing, this whole video, thank you so much. <laughs> this was time consuming, man. Oh my god, this took this probably took like three hours, three, four hours, but you know, I had to stop a few times because my uh my hands get a little cramped whenever I'm working with big yarn like this. So but yeah, I finished. Less than a skein yarn. This is what I got left. This is what I got left. That's it. Not even a full of skein, a full skein of uh, red yarn. I can make another I can make two more if I want to, but do I really want to? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all have a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!